Hello, this is Mike Latsonizer with Dad Life Fishing Adventures, and I want to talk to you today about five simple ways that we have made improvements to our GoPro filming experience while we're out fishing. So, we use the GoPro Hero 7 Black, as you can see here. Um, but what you'll find out is that this will work with almost all GoPro cameras. So, version uh, style not very important. So I want to talk to you about these accessories, upgrades, um, improvements that we made um, and how they have affected the quality of our filming while out on the water. The first accessory improvement that we made to our GoPro fishing experience was adding a 256 gigabyte micro SD card. So we use a scan disc um, micro SD card. The extra size gives all day filming capacity on your SD card. So you don't have to worry about carrying multiples with you, never have to swap them out. But with that, plus your GoPro, you still have an issue, power. Traditionally, if you wanted to film all day, you had to carry a box of these suckers with you. Otherwise, you weren't going to be able to make it. So, the next obvious improvement is all-day battery power. So, we fixed the all-day battery power need by adding in a Rocket Juice battery pack into our fishing repertoire. So, when you do that, there is a small problem. So when you uh, want to hook in all day power to your GoPro, so to combat the issue of needing all day power, we added a Rocket Juice battery pack to our repertoire. But when you use that, you have to open up the accessory door and actually take it off the GoPro, which causes an issue because one of the reasons why you bought the GoPro in the first place was because it is waterproof. So once you're ready to hook it up, you have to open the door like that and actually detach it to allow you to hook in that all day battery power into your system and keep it running. So once you have it opened up, you can plug in the USB-C adapter right into there and automatically have access to all day power. But now you have a problem. Now your GoPro is as susceptible to water damage. So that leads us to the next improvement that we made to our GoPro. We added Yellowtex rainproof putty and what this does is help to seal up the door space so that rain, debris, water of any type can't get into those openings. So what you do is you take the putty uh, which is reusable um, it comes in a multi-pack, so you have plenty of it to use for multiple cameras or whatever. And you kind of break it up into two pieces, like so. Knead it up into a round, and it'll work it out so that you have um, a longer piece. Once you have the first longer piece, you fit it into the section there and wrap it around the first part of the connection. So this will be kind of the front side. So you can see you kind of fit it in and then push it in <clears throat> and it starts to really fit, fill those cracks and crevices on that side. Then you take the other part and do the same thing again, I roll it out into a kind of an inchworm shape and then place it on the other side of the camera. So you have these two sides working together. Keeping that whole bay door dry and free of debris. So now you have access to full day power, waterproof, rainproof, don't have to turn it off, don't have to disable your full day power and put a battery back in it. No, you trust the process and you have all day power to your GoPro with the bay door off. Here's the fishing joke of the day. So what did the man say when everybody got annoyed by his fishing jokes? Man, I should scale back. Haha, <laughs> I'm here all day. Back to the action. The next improvement add-on that we made for our GoPro filming experience was to improve our audio quality. So what we did is we went ahead and purchased a windscreen uh, for our GoPro. 
that fits right over the top of it. When it came, it did not have the accessory door open, so we didn't have to modify the case, but it looks like it's gonna work pretty good, so we're excited about that. So we're gonna install it here and show what it looks like installed. So here's the example of the windscreen installed um, with the all day power hooked up, everything. You can see how um, it fits in there with the rainproof putty on. It just makes a great add-on for your GoPro. It improves the sound quality greatly and just improves the usability and benefits of the GoPro while you're out fishing immensely by adding this on with the all-day power, with the big SD card in it. So you really plug this in and go. The last improvement that we made for, to our GoPro was one of insurance. We wanted to make sure that our GoPros last out on the field so just like we looked out for making sure that we keep the rain out of the accessory door, we wanted to make sure that our lens and our back glass stayed in good working order. So we did the same thing that we do for all our cell phones and we went out and bought glass covers, tempered glass covers on Amazon. They came in a two pack, they're really inexpensive. Um, so we got an extra pack for spares for both of our GoPros. And it's just an added bit of insurance that a GoPro is going to last longer out in the field and be more user friendly for you because fishing with a GoPro is rough. You know, banging around on stuff, probably don't drop it, you know, have some mishaps along the way. You might fall on a rock, who knows? But if you got that extra insurance of tempered glass on those um, delicate pieces, it's going to go a long way to improving your filming and user-friendly experience. So thank you for watching this video. We greatly appreciate um, you guys on this channel. just want to share the things that we do to improve our filming experience with the GoPro. So remember, get that bigger S micro SD card. It's going to help you out. You don't have to carry extra ones of those around. Go for all day power, get that rainproof putty. So you can use that rainproof putty both on the GoPro and on the battery pack itself to protect both of those items from rain and debris while you're out on the water. Then definitely add that wind muff on there. It greatly improves the sound quality. And finally, get some tempered glass for the lens and the back panel. That just adds insurance and protection. This is all about making the GoPro as good as it can be for you. So with that, thanks for watching this video. Give it a like, leave us a comment, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss another moment of dad life fishing adventures and some of our tips and tricks that we're going to be producing throughout the year. We want to help you become a better fisherman. So with that, we'll see you out on the water next time.